Read all about it. Seven, eight, nine. The numbers were frantic all running around, because today number nine was nowhere to be found. Call 911, the crowd started a chant, until someone realized that without nine, we can't. The police arrived, clues found, statements taken, then all of the numbers were marched down to the station. They paraded the numbers out under the lights, and the sergeant proceeded to read them their rights. One of you knows a lot more than you're saying. I'll get to the truth. It's no game that I'm playing. Seven, step forward, stand straight, face the lights. Okay, Seven, turn to the left. Now turn to the right. Look, we got a call that you ate nine. It came into the station. It's a lie, yelled Seven loudly, meant to harm my reputation. I didn't know such thing, Inspector. I was bowling with the guys. Four and eight and two with air. We've got airtight alibis. They questioned all the numbers, more than you'll ever know, but they caught nobody lying, so they let the numbers go. The numbers all were tired by the time they were released, but the press just wouldn't let them rest. They'd become celebrities. The interviews were endless. Some went on Oprah's show, and some of them did Letterman, still others Jay Leno. Every number was a big star, yet still everybody feared, because no sign of nine had yet been found. He had simply disappeared. Now every day just got worse with no nine in the system. Everybody came to realize just how much they really missed them. The calendars were worthless. Wall Street couldn't sell their stocks. And talk about confusion. Just look at all those clocks. Baseball's now eight innings and impossible to score. Prices had to be adjusted. Some got less and some got more. Nothing now was working right. No one was having fun. The world was going crazy. Something had to be done. The inspector then remembered something he thought he saw. Bring them all back in, he said. After all, I am the law. And when they'd reassembled, he knew what he had found. He said, OK, six, step forward. And six, please turn around. Now, maybe you were thinking that no one would ever find him. But a six began to turn around. There was nine behind him. Well, they all started yelling at nine in all his glory when six said, Wait, won't you listen to our side of the story? Nine, he was exhausted. He'd done his very best. Can't you somehow understand he just needed a rest? I wanted a safe place where you all wouldn't find me. Then six said, Hey, nine, why don't you just get behind me? It seemed like a good idea at the time. We both never realized you'd think it's a crime. But enough's enough. Now that I've been discovered, I'm back. I feel great. I am fully recovered. And besides, no harm was done. And do I need to mention? All the other numbers got a little extra yeah, attention. Sure did. Yep, sure did. Right then, the inspector proclaimed with a flick of his wrist, there's no criminals here. This case is dismissed. Yeah. They all started cheering together in perfect rhythm. They all were so happy that Nine was back with them. They threw a big party. It was not very formal. To celebrate that soon, they'd be back to normal. And the next day, there was a giant headline. And all it said was, in big letters, Nine's fine. Epilogue. The numbers all thought that Nine was a hero back in his place between the eight and the zero.